At the end of this year, New Zealand will have the choice to make euthanasia legal. Euthanasia is defined as the painless killing of a patient suffering from an incurable and painful disease or in an irreversible coma. The referendum put forth will be asking voters if they support the End of Life Bill 2019 coming into effect, which allows the voluntary euthanasia of a patient with a terminal illness and has six months or less to live, if approved by two doctors. I support this bill coming into effect as I believe that the right to die is a human right and that it is the most humane thing to do. In 1948, the United Nations drew up the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. In Article 3, it states that everyone has the right to life, liberty and security of person. I believe that this article extends to not only death or dying, as that is part of life, but also liberty, meaning the allowance for people to make decisions for themselves. The right to life also only implies when said life has minimum quality and value. Having a terminal illness does not reach that mark. Therefore, doesn't this right extend to that of choosing when to die, especially when one's freedoms are at risk as a result of an illness? Thus, the criminalization of euthanasia conflicts with these very rights that humans are entitled to. Not only is the act of choosing to die with dignity a human right, it is also in many cases the more humane thing to do. Euthanasia is an allowance for those who are in incredible pain and suffering from terminal illness the choice to die as quickly and painlessly as possible. The avoidance of pain and suffering of human beings is something we deem unacceptable, so why do we allow it in hospital beds of the terminally ill? It is both humane and right to allow these people to choose to reduce and end their suffering through death when that death is a given. Death is an unpleasant and difficult thing for everyone involved. So why do we allow for the dragging out of the process? By allowing euthanasia, you stop pain and suffering. Allowing for death to be a pleasant experience. Well, as pleasant as it can be. I would argue that shortening the process is not just beneficial to the patient, but all parties involved as well. Why draw out the experience of something so horrible when you can cut it short and end both the patient's suffering but also allowing the family to grieve and the medical professionals as well. No one is advocating to give doctors unrestricted powers in which patients live or die, but to give the power to the patients to make the decisions themselves. This is what makes the process voluntary. Like I previously mentioned, it is only available to those who have terminal illnesses and have a life expectancy of six months. Two doctors must agree to it as well. These protections will protect those who are vulnerable. It is giving people the choice to decide their own destiny. If you have an issue with that, the solution is simple. Don't do it.